Alrighty, all this time I didn't have the record on. Way to go, Jay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, anyway, here we are in the evening of March 22nd, 2021. And we have both the telescope and the camera out here. So we have the William Optics GT71 refractor telescope with the uh, Canon RA camera attached to it. I started off with a uh, without the Kenko 2X extender but to make it similar in size to uh, the Canon RF lens over here on the other camera. So the telescope will be 840 and we have 800 millimeters over here on the uh, Canon R camera with the RF 800 lens. Anyway I just cannot believe I didn't hit record. I have to do all this again. <laughs> so we have both the telescope and the RF lens at 5x. Now I can't do the 10x over on the Astro camera because, oh, Canon. They have 5x and 30x. 30x is absolutely useless. I wish they'd do a firmware update on that. But anyway, we're going to head up to the top there. For some reason, it seems like the RF lens is uh, coming in better than the telescope one. I'm not sure. And it's difficult to tell out here, so we'll see when we go in and put it on the computer and check it out. And I'm not sure I'll be able to get these side by side because they're <laughs> so big, but but anyway, okay, so the telescope is 420 millimeters and I'm sorry, it'd be 840 with a 2x extender on there and 800 over here on the RF lens. So pretty close in size. And I am going to use the 10x over here on the RF lens because I like zooming in further. <laughs> we get to see our boneyard over there. That's what I call it. And that mountain ridge. Off to our right, below that dark patch, numbers and letters. And off to our right there is a question mark and the mesa and light beam area. <laughs> Hey, it's what my eyes see. They have so many names for all these different uh, craters and features and stuff, but most of them I have a hard time pronouncing, so I like what I come up with. <laughs> it's easier for this old brain. And I do love checking out the craters zoomed in over here on the uh, bottom edge. Now, I'm not sure, but oh gosh, I wish I know, knew everything I said before. Now, I'm not sure. I saw this earlier on the daytime footage, but the RF lens was uh, shaking, almost like I had the stabilizer on on the lens, but I don't. I double checked because it's shaking a bit much. It's either that or it could be my my tracking mount. I have been having some issues with it and I just can't afford another one, so I was thinking about getting uh, the Orion Star Seeker 4, whatever. But besides the money, they don't have it in stock, like everything else in the world right now. But anyway, like I did on the daytime footage, I might throw in that cool fireball meteor that streaked past yesterday morning. It was pretty neat. My security camera footage did catch it. So we'll see what we get here. I do wish we'd get a flyby or something. 
It's been ages since we caught something wild and crazy going past the moon. <laughs> but anyway, that should wrap it up. It's getting dark out here and a bit cooler. A lot cooler than it was this afternoon, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We'll wrap it up now. It is now 8.16 p.m. up here. Y'all take care. Maybe we'll do a fast forward at the end too. I don't know. We have so much footage to go through. We'll see. See y'all take care. Have a great new week ahead here. Bye now. Oh my my. Got all this to tote in. Mm -hmm.